guys so back on kill lake we've been hunting coming down to hunt one of these fitches out of here but so they're just cruising around up surface at the minute but we haven't had a chance to do an intro because as soon as i cast in got a fish <laughs> too busy to tight lines it's like... as soon as i cast in again i've got another run but i've lost that one so here's That's his good intro effort, yeah, good effort that one it? well what happened was we craig booked us on five and six didn't you yeah which is round the other side and then we got here craig's seen a few on top which, you know, you can't turn your nose up at that, can you? Can you balls? No. So Craig made a quick phone call. Says, look, we're going to jump on 12 and 13. If they're free. If they're free. Yeah. But Luckily yeah, enough, they're free. free. And then he's just put his lines in. The rods have absolutely whipped off, so we haven't had a chance to do all at the minute. Then we've got like the baby set up, have we? Nothing set up. If you look around, you know what I mean? Everything's Craig's still on his barra. Everything's off at barra. Kev's just still on barra. So we're just getting this done now. So yeah, we thought we'd say hello. I think it's going to be a hectic morning, me. Yeah, but I hope you're enjoying all the stuff that we do anyway. And if you do, hit that subscribe button because every little helps. See, we want to start doing lives. Obviously, when we get down to linear, it'd be nice to do a few lives on bank through, yeah. throughout the time. But obviously, we need a thousand subs to do that, and we're nowhere near that minute. No, so we're creeping slowly, are, aren't we? Yeah, if you are watching, though, hit that subscribe button. It just helps us out. You don't have to watch if you don't want. No. No one's asking you to, but just to but help we, us we, out so we, we can do, do these little things. We do try to be educational, don't we? And like, uh, we try to cover all aspects, but we also like to have a laugh, and that's something we're never going to put on back burner. No, we can't, can we? No. And at days like us, do we? Like, we're like catfishing's version of Ant and Deck, aren't we? You know? That's what it is, mate. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Or Laurel and Hardy, but. No. But like Craig says, it is much, much appreciated if you do hit that subscribe button and follow us along our journey. Yeah. Because we're hoping to do more and more videos for you, and uh, hopefully to have a bit of fun along the way. Yeah, hopefully you catch something you like and keep watching. Yeah. Because that's what we're after showing you guys what we're all about, showing how we get on up bank. We're not here to sell you out because we don't get made, we don't make a penny ourselves. No. So we're not here to sell you nothing. We're just here to show you what we do. Yeah, which is have a good time. Aye, especially on days like today when it's cracking. That's what I mean. And you're already up, bringing fish in, lad. Fish are up on surface. It's absolutely. Wow, they're jumping everywhere. Oh. Let me just change shoulder because it's getting a bit achy that one. It's getting a bit of that now. Yeah, we've got you know. You should have shoulders like me, be all right. I know you should be holding this big no, old no, thing. I'm gonna go my back. <laughs> my back's hurting. You pull. didn't have a bad back when you were pulling that. 23. Oh, man, I made it look like all brazen on two pounds on him, didn't I? 23, 10 it went. So, well yeah. done, team, out there. Chuffed that. Yeah, my That's turn now. Make you let PB. That don't deserve a bucket of water by the fucking way before you even start. Yeah, it does. No, it don't. Yeah, it does. No, it don't. What's your PB, though? That. That's your that's PB. A, that's, my, that's my PB, recorded PB. I've actually I've caught bigger fish, but I've never weighed it, so I can't class it as. Oh, mate, PB. you're not getting so a bucket. My, that's my PB. 
Do you reckon you get bucket, lads? Yeah, I got bollocks. <laughs> if, if you're going to give me a bucket, give me it next time because I've got yeah. a set of clothes for this time. <laughs> so, right, well, we're going to get off. We're going to crack on, getting set up because we haven't had a chance to, and then we'll get back to you all soon. Nice. All right, all right. see you in a bit. Take care. He's in. How's it feel, Craig? So we're just setting up guys and uh that's in <laughs> not even 15 minutes into it and he's in yeah is that on zig that one craig this is yeah zig Six foot zig straight off at surface. It's gonna be nice if that was my net. I'm film crew, me, mate. Alright, no longer. Of course I am. Thanks for loving it, mate, yeah. Nah. I've got you, lad. Got a bit of a bend it rod. What pound zig have you got on that? Oh, there's that zig and floor line. Ooh. Can you net it? Yeah, of course I can. Because you're a fucking great man, I want to get this on film. Oh, it's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah. It's that big black in it. Where's it coming? Where's it coming? Bending rod is that? Fair play to you. <laughs> Not even ten minutes into the session, and he's only gone and got a lovely drop back. Yeah, I ain't got no self. Right. Let's try just. Just got him out on you. Right, we're going to get sorted, lads, and then we're going to get back to you. Yes! Well done, mate. How's she looking? She's looking fucking fantastic. Aunt Zig. Yeah, might have better get some light over side. Don't worry, lads, it's absolutely fine, this. Yeah, my knee isn't. Isn't it? It's getting saturated. Right, sound. Looks like one I caught before, look, it's got that scar here. That's right, yeah. There's a weighty one. It's heavy, that. It's a 23 and a half, that, isn't it? Alright, it's a definite 20. 20 up, is that? Come on. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Don't be flipping. Wow, it's stunning, that, mate. Going mental. Oh, yeah. A little bar of gold, kid. You've done well there, mate, again. On the zigs, mate. Jet black zig liner. So, yeah. I'm ready for this one. Good lad. Been here what? What have been set up? 15 minutes? 15 minutes, minutes if that. And we're off for a flight flyer, so yeah. Nobody pulled out in yesterday, did they? No. Or today? Nothing at all. Craig one kid had one out of seven, but I've just, we, we were meant to get in five and six. But we come here and we've seen fish on the surface, so I thought I'd better give this a go. Can't knock it. Well, so yeah, cracking. Well done, mate. Oh, I don't know. Maybe one in one. Reckon? One in you are 23, 10, 11, 23, 10. Is that what it is? Yeah. Motherfucker. So that's just a little digging, that, isn't it? Right, you are, lad. What a golden fish that is. Let's get that release. Nightmare. He's only gone and done it. 
Right, we've just had a bite to eat and it's approaching time to uh, set up at night time rigs, isn't it mate? Yeah. See what we can do. But tonight I think I'm going to stick with zigs but I'm going to lower them right down to like two, three foot. Hopefully yeah. they're in that thermobolic layer. So. Is that mate? <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> the thermobolic layer? That's what it's called, thermobolic oh, layer. It's where the cold water meets the warm water and you get that layer in between just in the middle. got it. So I'm going to hopefully, I'm hoping that that's where it's <coughs> roughly around three foot off at bottom, four foot off at bottom. So. I'm going to do the same, mate. You're not copying me. No, I told you this earlier. I'm going to drop them six now. Oh, you're going to just stay at thermobolic layer? You, so, no, no, not bothered about thermobolic layer. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say it? Thermobolic. Thermobolic layer. Yeah. There you are. That's where I'm going to go as well. Yeah. Straight in that. That's what, I'm hoping to, that's what I'm hoping to find anyway. If I can find that where they're moving and cruising about, then hopefully I'll pick another one up. But you know what I'm going to do later on? I'm going to put two on bottom, my juices. Yeah. And I'm going to put one on zig all night. I'm, I'm leaving them on zigs all night. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm put one out in a soy bag. And two on zigs? And two on zigs. Yeah, I might spot a bit of gear over the top. We've got it. And put them all tight together, see what happens. Sounds to me, mate, like we've got the same approach there, pal. Sounds to me like you're stealing my approach, mate. Nah, mate. <laughs> Not you a know. chance. You'll know you, you are. No. So, yeah. So, it's, only, it's only been the last hour since we've got everything set up. Just been watching water. They've been cruising about the surface, but that's all stopped now. They seem to be boshing and out, so whether or not they've moved around the other side of the lake or they're still here, they've just gone down. I think they've gone, they're going to go drop down on yeah. us. Yeah, so I'll just get my zigs tight against them weed, weed beds. I know for the best. So you know where you're going, yeah? Yeah. yeah I've I know been on I'm zigs going. all day, mate, but I ain't had a knock. Not a touch. <coughs> but you've done all right on zigs, haven't you? Yeah, so far. I've had one fish out i had a run which i had on for a bit and it felt lumpy did that one a bit i don't know it just ran really quick and just pulled out Good well it wasn't no to do with drag drag was set nice it was pulling line then just came off and then i got a mad drop back a bit ago so i struck into it but it must have been swimming towards me too quickly and there's no one end of it they've all been up in upper layers haven't they? yeah they've seen some good action plenty of boshing so that means that they're on the munch all we can do now is, like you say, get into them, have a thermic up of the layers, <laughs> and then there you go. <clears throat> Once we're down in them, guarantee the fish out there. What was it called again? Hemperthermical layers. <laughs> you know what that is? Google it. Yeah, it'll come up. Swear the warm. Yeah, it'll probably diagnose you with cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, get some penicillin and some antibiotics. <clears throat> That's where I'm going, mate, down there. Yeah. Yeah, where it's just, you know, where cold meets the warm and all that What's jazz. What's it called again? Hamathermical layers. <laughs> oh, God. Hamathermical. Very, that one. Yeah, yeah, it sounds, yeah. Like, it sounds like something like Dr. Yields is. That's where they all are now, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, that's I'm my approach it. anyway. I don't, know what he, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what areas he's looking for. I'm going to get that fish but, tonight. So <laughs> Let's hope he gets one, huh? I'm going to get that fish tonight. We've just watched the Gold Grand National, haven't we, pal? Oh, yeah, yeah. I put I put a ten, I put a tenner on and put five horses, two pounds on each horse. I come out with quid up. <laughs> quid up, put linear fund. <laughs> so we're not doing bad, are we? Yeah, yeah. Saying that though, if I do it right, if I make if I make my own boilers, mate. <clears throat> oh, here we are. Half a kilo there. Yeah. Get half a kilo there. Put a bit of weight bricks in there and a bit of bits and bats, a bit of bread. Save some good money there. And then roll it in some black food down and we're smashing it. Yeah. yeah. Fully agree with you. I might sure, I might give that a bash. To be fair, I might I just roll. I might just roll some weight bix. I, I tried to make me old. Leave that. I might just roll some weight bix and some black dye and just Crack try that. Eggs. Yeah, just smash <clears> it to bits. <throat> some weight bix in it. Just no, as good six, as any other. Six eggs, mate. Just six eggs for it. Makes a makes a good mix up. I tried to make me own bollocks. Went down like a lead balloon, mate. Oh, they were critically balanced. I do one half. Sound like bricks. <laughs> You made what about five kilo? Yeah, about five kilo of krill, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, they were shocking. They were shocking. They were rolled like so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could it? Well, that's joke. Yeah, you could have made a pizza out of it if you squashed it all day. Made a pizza base out of it. Not wrong. <laughs> Gonna have a crack at that at all? Some boilers on bank. So yeah, that's the approach anyway. Get these rigs on the dance floor. Now I've got, I say I've got a little mix going, which is like full of almond. 
like half chopped boilers, crushed boilers in there. So I'm gonna get that on the spot with spod and just like I say, fish's eggs and then hopefully a bottom bait rig. We'll see what's what though. I'm gonna spod these straight over the top of them. Over these eggs. Yeah. The magwars. Well, I think. Be careful with them, yeah. Why? The bite, mate. They do. Yeah. The bite alright when my rod tips are bent <laughs> round and fish on the end of it. <clears throat> Magwars, ready to go. How much they cost you? <clears throat> Can't remember. About a tenner. Was it? Yeah. I did just bought a kilo of boilers, mate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Were they yeah. a tenner? Yeah. No, never. Yeah. Kilo of boilers, mate. That's Back up. Stink, then. That's it. He's fishing naturals. I'm fishing boilers. Let's see who wins. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm down. I need to get I've already won up. four pints of Maggie's. <laughs> one up, we didn't fish with no bait at all. We've got a little bit of black foam. It's the usual kit for that, isn't it? Yeah. You've got to put no scent out and no, no attracting, and there you go, you're off. Aye. But I'm going to bash it. I, need, I ain't got long now before it gets really dark to get four pints of Maggie's out, make some Medusa rigs. Yeah, I'm gonna leave one on Zig all night, wouldn't it? I think I should. I'd leave one Zig while he's spotting me. Spot over the top of it and hopefully it gets him in a frenzy and then change your rigs after. Mm. Yeah, you know I mean, because obviously when they're falling through. I wish through... we had some of that would help us cast fruit night. What? You know, so we can see where we're going. No, we're not casting fruit night. Yeah, but you know, what if, what if I want to change my rig and that fruit middle of the night? You know, when it gets like 8 o'clock and it's dark and I'm thinking, oh, I'll fancy a rig change, mate. Put your head touch on. Oh well, there we go. So yeah, that's my approach. Yeah, good luck. Maggots. I think I'm going to get all them out in 45 minutes. Yeah, if you'd like to spawn, mate, if you'd like to spawn, you'd, you'd think you'd get, you'd get that in one spawn, wouldn't you? Yeah, you do that in 10 spawns. 10 spawns, done. Yeah, 10 spawns. I've also got some crumb. <coughs> Yeah, but that's what I'd do. I'd leave the zigs out where they are. I'd put, I'd put two zigs out now, tight together. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spawn over the top of it. And while it's all falling through, hopefully you get a bite on the zigs. That's what I'm hoping for. Just as the night fades. Yeah. This is the day fades. That's the one, mate. That's it, innit? Yeah. You get that in the end. You think you've been up beer again? Nah, I'm right as rain this time. <laughs> right, that's the approach. I need to crack on with this then. Right, no worries. I'll bring mine and I'll lower my zigs down to three or four foot. Yeah. We'll leave it at that. See you on dark side, mate. Aye, right, see you in a bit. Catch you. saving them scragglers in the bottom is because later on tonight I'm going to make a little Medusa rig and yeah I'm going to put them in uh, little PVA mesh bags I'm going to drop them straight down to the bottom where hopefully from my spotting there'll be a nice little bed of maggots so I'll see how we get on. Alright guys, get back to you soon.
I'm going to put it in weed, me. Yeah, stick it in weed. Six foot six. Yeah, well, look at that. It's five foot six deep to bank, uh, to, to bed. <coughs> so I might go five foot then. Well, just have it just hovering above. Yeah. I'd go five, yeah, five, five foot. Five and a bit. Foot, yeah. Now it's dropping to six foot. Tight against margin, I want to be on a five, five foot zig. Ooh. Ooh, we've got a little... Ooh, we've got a little bar there. Yeah, four foot there. Which is what, six wraps, seven wraps? Yeah. I said it felt shallow, didn't I, when I, when I cast yeah. the bed about? Yeah, and that's where it was. Yeah. So, we were actually bang on with what we both were saying. So, yeah, you can do everything with lead, but obviously it's nice to see exactly. There you go, there's your five and a half wrap drop-off point. I would love to sit it on top of that, that tabletop. Yeah. You, you, you have to, if you're sitting it on top of there, you're going to sit on with a four foot zig, aren't you? Yeah. That is peg 12, anyway. That's your features on the bottom. Mm. So, we will bang on. That's a weird. That's a weird thing there, isn't it? A little bit of edge. That. But we did brock off and floating about. We were bang on, lad. Yeah. Yeah, what you were saying, we'll cock on. Might just have a little flick at it, might as well. Come on. Let's go have a look into peg 13. Oh. And there you are, you can see where Craig is. Let's see what this is saying, though. Six foot eight, I had six foot oh, oh. big fatty yeah, over there. Fella. Where's he? Oh, he's just out the front where the zigs are. He's on your zig, him, isn't he? Yeah. He's going to seven foot now, isn't it? Seven foot, so I was just a foot under the surface. What, when you, when, when you caught them fish? Yeah, when I, when I had that yesterday, yeah. But he's cruising at what? He's cruising at mid depth. He's only about four foot up him. Yeah. It tells you where he is. 4.9 feet. So he's cruising around the five foot zig area. I'm going to go five, five and a bit to get me on top oh, of that weed. Oh, it's deep yeah. What are you going to here? Yeah? Seven, seven. Seven, seven. Just in the middle there. Look how clear my swimmers are, mate. Oh my you know, God. I'm messing about in mine, is there? Got to be accurate, me and mine. I was on spot all night. Mm. There we go, cut a little bit of weed here. In bit. Well, we can six foot that bastard. <laughs> All bars that you want to be fishing towards, though, they're all covered in weed, aren't they? I'm going to flick towards the tree where my actual bait is. That's it, get it towards the tree. The result I'm sure on the spot. See, see where you're casting. <coughs> this is in peg 13, guys. Go and chop that. That's where the bait is now. That's where it was all night. That's where it was all night in the that. Right on my spot, that. On my zigs. Clean there, though. Yeah, that drops off there. Yeah. You've still got six, nearly no, seven foot there. Yeah. That's ridiculous. That's where you want to be, mate. On the top of the shelf, where you landed, Craig. Yeah. See that flat bit there? Yeah. That's where you want to be, mate, with a zig. Well, see, that's where I was last night, but what do we know? What do you know, seven foot. Oh, you've got a little plateau there as well. Deep if you're wondering what that shadow is there guys that's not my hairdo that's the microphone <laughs> right so don't think i'm a scruffy cunt it could be his hairdo there's craig <laughs> 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 it's like a fucking side job, your mom. <laughs> 
the funny thing is, is look at that, Craig. My ears are at the side. There's me, look, lads. Looks like it's pom pom, doesn't it? Because I've got an ear out there, next to the phone, that looks like my hairdo. But it's not. You're scratching your head, mate. There's me there. I was about to touch, touch into the weed now, aren't we? Yeah, there we go, look. Everything that we worked out with Lev yesterday, mate, will bang on. So that's a good, good sign, isn't it? So is it shallower up into that little bay? Let's have a little flip in that little bay. What the hell's going on down there? I'll bet show him, mate. It's a little show over there we have. Yeah, right above weed bed, the mm. usual. Usual case. Yeah, it might be worthwhile getting a zig just on top of that weed bed. I'm gonna. Fly straight into it. Just have a look in this little bay down here. Where are you going over there? I reckon it's shallower there, mate. No, no, I didn't look. Seven foot deep. Straight in at seven foot. You must be in a foot. This is higher than it normally is, this, here. Well, it's the highest I've seen at this, in terms of water. So there's one fish out in front. But we're not using it for looking for fish. No. We'll just feature finding this morning. Just get a map of this swim. I'm impressed how accurate we've got that with yeah. lead. So there you go guys, save yourself 200 quid and go buy a fucking lead. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they're, they're, wor they're well worth it if you've got a bottom that's really deep. Yeah. You know, and you're looking, you're looking for gravel bars. They are worth having Stuff in armory, like aren't they? Yeah, well that's why I bought one. But Don't use it for fish finding. You think of when you're leading about, you could be leading about for hours looking for one gravel bar, you can just scoot over the top of it here, clip up and you're on it. Right, you're coming into a weed now. So you're going to put your lead back on it after and make sure you're on a decent yeah. hard spot or whatever, but... Don't just turn up though, do you, and just throw your rigs out. Spend it's a bit... So shallow, it must be... You're on top of weed, that's why. Uh, See? Yeah, it should be registered ground. There we are, look. Oh, yeah. This little ball here. We're rigging that. Putting that there. Yeah. But <laughs> well, i get you a bite, that. Could be a channel, that, couldn't it? But, yeah. There you go, deeper in a nutshell. Right, sound. Right, I'm going to get this brew, mate. Right, okay then. What I've got here is a little zig. I say little, it's actually six foot after doing the uh, deeper test. I now know exactly what depth I need to be. And all I'm going to do is go it up with a bit of corn twist. Give it a little dab for that bit of attraction. Hopefully, this does the job. Each zig, as I'm going out with three zigs, I'm going to go up different goes and just basically just have a little, little experiment and see which one works best, or if at all. So, let me get this out now, and then get back to you soon. Hi right, guys, how are you all doing? Do us a favour. Got a Northern Cart Freaks Facebook page up and running at the minute. Yeah. There's a steady flow of, of members as it is. All good lads, all friendly people. I would appreciate it if you could dive over there and uh, and join up with us so we can see what you are up to. Because we do like to know what you're all getting up to. Yeah, when just you're dish on the out bank. little catch reports. And... Catch reports. Like I say, it's very friendly. No, um, no danger whatsoever. So yeah, I would appreciate it if you could do that right. massively. Very nice. Nice, nice touch to see that, mate. Oh yeah. Oh. yeah nice touch. <coughs> yeah. If you could do that, I'd appreciate it. Also, <laughs> if you want to follow us on Instagram, because we do throw pictures up of catches and, and, and little bits and bats, you can follow me at what am I? Northern Cat Freaks YouTube. YouTube. And I'm Northern Cat Freaks YT. So That's yeah, it. hit us up on there. Get us up. And let's uh, let's try and boost this community. Yeah, let's yeah. Really try and lift this up a bit. Also, like Craig said earlier, do subscribe. Yeah. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Would appreciate that massively. Let's okay. just know that you're all enjoying it, and basically it allows us then to be excited about coming out, making new videos for you, because we know that you're enjoying it. Would be appreciated.
I like that, mate. Spot well there. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Better you. than me saying it, mate. It's not like a bag of spanners. No, you don't. You're right. Yeah. Been. So yeah. I oh, got that, mate. Well, it's approaching the end of the session as well, isn't it? It's getting close to. Yeah. We've got about an hour left. About an hour left. So it's going to be a steady pack down. And then. Well, that's <coughs> it. Zig, zigs are back out. So we put deep. Well, mm -hmm. You'll see footage. We put deeper out. There's like we didn't see many fish. Like there's one in my swim. Well, we've got one at four foot, one at five foot, and one just under the surface. So let's see what appertains. Yes, hopefully we'll get a fish on the bank. Yeah. So they didn't stick in thermobolic layer, like I said <coughs> yesterday. That were a lot of bullshit, but in in that thermobolic layer. <laughs> I think right, right this time, time yeah. Mate, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what it's called. Anyway, I don't even know if it's right, but it hypothermic right. layer. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, steady pat down. But yeah, steady it's been down, nice it? making this video. It's been a good one. You have enjoyed this one? Yeah, it's been some good shots. We've got a few shots of fish boshing out, mm -hmm. hopefully. Yeah, to look yeah. back up footage for that one, like, yeah. but... but yeah. Yeah, it's been good. It's been productive. It's been a productive session, if ever I've seen one. Yeah, there been some nice guys up bank as well. Spot to a few nice people. Met some lovely people. Yeah. It's been a good session. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Fully agree. So we hope you enjoy it too. Yeah, and if you do, let us know by hitting that like button, because it goes a long way for us. Yeah. And also, while we're on here, as, as you've seen with deeper footage in Kev's swim, just let us know in comments how you would go approaching that swim. Would you fish in that little channel or would you be sticking it in weed? Or like at the minute he's put one in actually in the weed but zigging just above the just above the weed. So we'll see. see like I say, leave happens. a comment, just see what see what you think. Yeah, let us know where you'd fish and what and how yeah. you'd approach this swim. So yeah. But Super. It's, but it's been nice. Cracking that so, is so steady packed down I think now. Yeah. No, sounds good to me. I think we should end the vlog here actually and if we get a fish Yeah if we do get a fish we'll We'll be straight out. back on. Yeah. But if we don't, we'll end it at this. Alright, and we'll see you on the next one which will be linear. So enjoy. Big linear, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so we're there for what? A full week. Seven days, yeah. Seven days on the bank. If we don't if, we, if, if Kev don't catch there, there's something going on in there. If I don't catch there, <laughs> mate, I'm gonna be absolutely. I'll tell you off. what it is, mate, it's them six foot snide, you need to break that curse. Mm. Yeah, break that ah, curse. Yeah. You might not, well, you'll see on, on video, but I trip myself to three six foot snides. Everyone who watches the videos knows I'm a six foot man. I love it. So I six will. Six foot two, you know, bed? I'm six foot three, mate. Oh, six foot three. But my rods are six foot. I can even yeah. take them in my bivy and set them up. There's no need for these straps here. <laughs> no need whatsoever. <laughs> but I'm going to do some, I'm going to do a few sessions with them and I'm going to drop a nice little review on them, actually. And uh, I've got some BP falls, Nash BP falls to go with it. Same again. I'll do a review on that once I get me around it all. But yeah, happy days. Super. Right then. So right, we'll see guys. you on the next outing. I right, see you next time at Linear. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Should be good that. Ta-ra. See you later.